Hey guys, welcome to Skillkit. As aspiring data scientists, we often take label data for granted. Those of you who are working in the industry or academia would know how hard it is to get label data for your specific machine learning problem. In fact, there are hundreds of startups in the market today that provide data labeling services and actually charge you for it. So the big question really is, how do I get label data for my next big machine learning project? Do I manually annotate it? which might take a lifetime? Or uh, do I hire a data labeling company, which might put a hole in my pocket? Well, there is indeed a third option available called programmatic labeling, which is immensely scalable and is absolutely free of cost. Well, in this two part learning series, I'll explain what programmatic labeling is, which uh, I'll cover in the first part. And then in the second part, I'll take you through an end to end machine learning project by first labeling an unlabeled data set using the popular programmatic labeling technique called snorkel, and then use the labeled data for building a machine learning model. For introductions, we are Skillkate and uh, we launch new machine learning projects every month. So make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified of all our upcoming free data science projects. On this note, let's get started. Let's say you and I decide to build a machine learning model together. And the problem we choose is YouTube comment spam detection, which is basically classifying YouTube video comments into two classes, spam or not spam. For this, we need some labeled data for training, right? Now in a world where programmatic labeling was non-existent, we would have manually annotated unlabeled YouTube comments into spam and not spam. For doing this, we put a lot of our human sense into finding patterns in the textual data to determine what makes a uh, specific comment spam and uh, other uh, others as not spam. For example, genuine comments may have users appreciating the content, uh, maybe asking questions or just posting their observations. On the other hand, spam comments generally have uh, promotional content with links embedded, which is mostly irrelevant to the context of the video. Now think about it, if I could write a set of functions to identify these patterns in our data the same way we would otherwise do by manually going through each of uh, these comments, wouldn't that be great? And that's really is the basic premise of programmatic labeling. The functions that we shall write as part of snorkel based programmatic labeling are called labeling functions. These labeling functions capture the labeling rationals of a human and can be applied to auto label large training data sets. Now, let me also give you a quick brief on snorkel, which is uh, one of the popular programmatic labeling techniques. The snorkel project started in Stanford in 2016 with an idea to develop a mathematical approach to the often entirely manual process of training data creation. Objective was to empower users to programmatically label, build and manage training data. Snorkel's programmatic labeling technology has been developed and deployed with Google, Intel, DARPA, etc. So it's quite mainstream and powerful. That's all I had for introductions. In the second part, we'll do an end to end machine learning project by first labeling an unlabeled data set using Snorkel and then use the labeled data for building a machine learning model that would be YouTube comment spam detection. See you in the next part. Bye.